the White House has informed Congress of its intention to send over $1 billion in new weapons to Israel. This announcement comes despite U.S. opposition to a full-scale Israeli invasion of the southern Gaza city of Rafah. Last week, the U.S. paused a shipment of bombs to Israel due to concerns about civilian casualties in densely populated areas. However, the new arms package can still be blocked by Congress if a majority in both chambers object. The proposed package, as reported by the Associated Press, includes $700 million in tank ammunition, $500 million in tactical vehicles, and $60 million in mortar rounds. This notification is part of a legally required process for U.S. arms sales exceeding a certain amount. Last month, Congress approved a $95 billion military aid package for Israel, Ukraine, and Taiwan. On Tuesday, Israeli tanks advanced deeper into Rafah's residential areas, nearing the city center. Meanwhile, medical services are struggling. Doctors Without Borders informed the BBC that they had ceased operations at a field hospital due to safety concerns. The White House notification is expected to be opposed by some members of Congress, although no announced arms sale from already approved funds has ever been successfully blocked. Democratic Senator Chris Van Hollen criticized the decision, stating to the Washington Post that the U.S. should not proceed with additional arms transfers until Israel addresses President Biden's concerns about Rafah and the provision of humanitarian assistance. A U.S. State Department report last week indicated that some American-made weapons supplied to Israel might have been used in ways that breach international law. While the report criticized some Israeli operations in Gaza, it did not definitively state that the IDF had violated international law, noting that Israel's assurances about adhering to the legal use of U.S. weapons were deemed credible and reliable. This arms sale notification to Congress is the first since the Biden administration paused arms transfers to Israel. President Biden had delayed the shipment of 2,000 pounds bombs over concerns about their use in ground operations, citing civilian casualties in Gaza. These arms transfers have become a political challenge for President Biden as he approaches the November 2024 White House election.